Hello, this is James, and I thought I would comment a little bit more on Linda Lore's uh, ViewMaster tutorial, where she created this cool little uh, ViewMaster slide show here. And if you hadn't seen it, it's, it's a really neat effect. Um, it's really easy to do. You know, click on it, and, and the image rotates and all that. But what she, um, what I think, thought I would expand on was the disk here. How did she create that? And what I found was a really easy way to do that was to actually go out to the web and find a disk, a ViewMaster disk. And I'm going to kind of use this as a template to basically create what I have here. Okay. So what I noticed the first thing on these was this, these are really not squares, these are rectangles. And the, you wouldn't know that if you didn't look at it, but they, they are. So I'm going to look at the shape of those. And what I found out was that they were the height was 0.55 and the width was 0.45. So a little bit of difference. They are rectangles. Okay, I created the first one using a gradient fill, and the second one I use a solid fill. I'm going to use this for a transparent color to subtract that from a disk. Um, I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, so basically I laid this template down and back, and then I drew a circle. And to basically, it's kind of like what Linda did. She made a circle here. It's so I can position my little rectangles all the way around this. But in, in um, you don't get this really here, but in other products like Flash and uh, Fireworks, you can actually lay down these, these little guidelines. And they help you align your different your little images here. So that's what I did here is I actually took just a straight line for, and I started um, aligning them to the corners of, of the different uh, rectangles here until I got them all laid out in 360 degrees. Okay. What this allowed me to do is then I can when I start adding my, my shapes, it allows me to align them very easily. Okay. So I can take them, align them, and put them where they need to be. Then the next step, what I did, once, once you're done with all that, I got rid of this, this line and I got rid of the circle and the lines. So I'm left with this. And then what I did is I highlighted them and I grouped them. Okay, so I have a whole, looks like a whole disk head. And I copied that and I drew another circle down here. And this, this circle happens to be four inches wide and four inches high. And then I, what I did is I positioned it center in the screen by going to distribute horizontally and distribute vertically. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. I'm going to align, distribute horizontally, and then I'm going to distribute vertically. So now it's where I want it to be. This looks like a ViewMaster slide. The next step is I'm going to save it as a picture. And I'm going to call it like ViewMaster disk. Okay. And I'm going to save. So my next step is I'm going to bring that guy back. I'm going to bring it in here, and I'm going to go insert picture, and I'm going to bring it back in. Now, I want to shape subtract this, but if I do this, if I go color, um, set transparent color, watch what happens. Okay, it kind of sort of leaves a little outline here, but it, but it really uh, leaves, what I want is I want, I do want a border on that, so I'm going to undo that, control Z. And the way I found to make this work is I add a shadow. So if I just add a small shadow to this, now I'm going to do color correction again, or set transparent color, bang, it goes away. Okay. So once it's gone, then you'll notice here, I took my, my wheel up here. Okay. Since it's grouped, I can now format this um, with a gradient fill. And so that's all I did here, is I created a gradient fill, and then I just, you know, grouped that, control G, and then I can move this right, over, over, or actually under this, you see how that creates that effect, that 3D effect? If I wanted to, if I push it up just a touch, now you can really see it. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Then you can take this whole thing, group it, and then add it to your animation. That's, that's really all. You'll have something uh, that looks like this. And that's basically all there is. And at online, it just, you'll see here, and then, so as I click, this automatically moves all together. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. This is just a different way of creating the ViewMaster disk.